Hello everyone, in this video I want to I want to show you 3D font methods in order to uh, simplify your 3D card and doing with fillets and uh, 3D holds. So this is my initial geometry. Let's quickly have a look at it. There are multiple fillets inside it. There are also multiple holes. So what I want to do is to remove all the holes, uh, so small holes here, but keep this one and I want to remove all fillets. So the internal fillets here, the fillet at the bottom here. And I want just to keep this fillet and the corner fillets uh, here and here. And same on the opposite side. So let's have a look at the different methods that are available. Uh, but before this, uh, let me go to measures just to have a review of the information in my model. So if I hover the mouse over my um, one edge of my all I see the radius, 15 for this one. And here I have a radius of 4.25. So this will help me for setting the different uh, approaches. And here, if I look at the different radius, I have a radius of um, one, four here. Okay, I'm not able to get the one here. So I have a radius of four here. I have a radius of one in this location. Here I have a radius of five, seven dot five. Um, and here I have a radius of 1.5 and this one that I want to keep also it is a radius of 5 and this will bring me some um, subtleties because remember I want to keep this one but I would like to remove this one so let me try to show you how we can proceed in the different cases let's start with Option one, uh, which will be from the geometry, it will be the manual defeaturing. So let's start with the hold. It will be pretty simple. I want to remove all, all with diameter is lower than 10. Please remember we measured the um, radius here and here we have for the diameter. So I will keep this value. Let me hit on fine. I have my eight holes and I can just remove all. I could, as an option, um, ask for uh, solid holes to have a fixed point or three points at the, the center of the uh, solid, which I didn't request it here. Now let's go to fillets. Um, same here, I will define a minimum radius and a maximum radius. Um, on purpose, I will define 4.9 uh, just for showing you, or I could define even 5. It would be the same principle, whether I use 5 or 4.9. Uh, I will either remove this one and this one, or have both. And I will check the use parasolid option. Um, the fine, so let me hit on fine. The use parasolid option may be a little bit uh, longer as it will um, internally convert uh, your geometry as a parasolid geometry for dealing or uh, following the use of the parasolid CAD engine. But this is for the benefit of having a better quality, uh, a better precision when accuracy when dealing with geometries. So here I have all my uh, the fillets that have been detected. I could, uh, using a control or Overing the most over uh, surfaces, I could add any surface, and the same if I go over a surface which is already selected. If I hit on Shift and left click, I can unselect it. So Shift, left click, should be able to unselect. For a new, okay, I did the box, but Shift plus left click should have worked. So this is the fillet that I want to remove and I can remove everything. So now my geometry is done. I have removed all my uh, holes here and all my fillets except the one that I wanted to keep. This method works fine if your intent is only to remove fillets, not having other treatments. Then you can deal uh, with simple range of 
diameter or radius in order to isolate the one you want to simplify and the other ones. Now, let's go to another approach. Still in the defeaturing one, so second approach, it will be the, with the batch repair. So in to the batch repair, we will rely on two files from HyperMesh, the parameter and the criteria file, um, which allow to consider both the CAD information on the CAD targets and the FE targets. Uh, and if I look at parameters and criteria, so there is a basic point. You need always to make sure that the target element size into uh, within your param file and your criteria file are the same. This is the first point to be, um, to be checked. And then if we go to the whole 3D, for instance, here we see that we have different options for the radius. Uh, so let's say that the radius is below four, 5, so let me start it from scratch. I want to radius below 5. And what I will have as a choice is to remove, uh, have a seed, which is the point here, um, or we have remove and mark, which is having a tag. Uh, here I will simply remove and do nothing else. Now, if we come to the fillets, uh, let me change here again the rules. So the first one I will go to from um, 0 0.2 to 5, for instance. In that case, what I want to do is, uh, let's say that I don't want to remove. This is what I used previously. Here, yeah, instead of removing, uh, you see that we have different methods. We have enforced rows. If you deal with enforced rows, you will keep the fillet and you will specify the number of elements to be in the radius of the fillet. So you can say you want two rows, you want three rows, etc. etc. You have the midline split, which means that you will have a midline uh, created in the fillet, but you will keep the, ex um, the external bounds of the fillet. Or you can have um, the split and suppress, which allows to have the midline uh, split and to suppress the external bounds. So let me use this one. And then, um, yeah, for the other one, I will keep the fillets. So if I just uh, apply the batch measure in that way, uh, I will probably keep this fillet removed or simplified so before doing it i will go to preserve edge and i will ask for preserving these lines so that they are not they won't be affected by the batch mesh batch uh, repair so let me so this one now they have a different coloring or a different symbol which means they won't be modified by the batch um, repairing so let me go back to the batch. Let me select all my surfaces and ask for auto cleanup. So now again, let me escape. <coughs> so you see my fillet have been removed. So there is a midline which has been created and uh, if I go to split, we have the 2D topology using that my precedent fillet bounds are set to um, inactive lines, so that they won't be used for the meshing. We will use only the, the middle line. So N, strange because I was thinking this one will be removed, so maybe I will have to. Let me go again to parameters. Um, maybe I will have to increase a little bit. Oh, let's say 5.1. Apply. Okay. Let me try again. Surfaces. Now it has been split. Um, 
correctly. Or what I would um, maybe what I wanted in this location. So let me undo, undo again. In fact, what I want is that up to so if I go to the fillet up to four dot five, let's say I won't split and suppress. But if I'm above for this one. Yeah, um, I could say that between 4.5 and 5.1 for this specific example, but it won't be it won't help necessarily. I could say remove, which will not be maybe the best approach for some cases. But let's do it this way. So that you see that regarding the, the range of radius, you can have different processes done. So here I have just removed. Again, my fillet on top is still there because I preserved it. And I have my midlines uh, here for the um, fillet with radius lower than 4.5. So if you want to bring more control, have more flexibility, um, this is definitely one way to process to use the patch um, um, repair in order to do so. You may spend time at the beginning to tune it, but when it is tuned, then you can reuse it on your different geometries. And then let me go back again to my initial state. Okay, there is one. Perfect. And let's have a look at option three. Um, which is this time it Oh, it will be for both, by the way. Uh, I will use this uh, functionality that we brought in 22.1, uh, which is called Features. So if I go to the Features, I will be able to detect uh, some holes. Uh, so hopefully, I have set my radius to 5. And for the fillets, I have my minimum radius to 0 0.2 and my maximum radius to 5.1. So let's hit on Find. This method um, is pretty new and it will help you to identify the different fillets. So if you look at my model, you will see the different fillets that are available. So sometimes you will have to bother a little bit between the different fillets. And you may decide to have a different or um, specific process for each of the fillets. Um, oh, you can at least visually understand what where is your fillet, and then that can help you um, identifying what to do. Right now, for the from the feature manager, what you can do is to defeature. So defeature will be uh, removing the feature. So removing the fillet, for instance. So if I pick this one and I uh, right click, ask for defeaturing. This work, right click, the feature. Okay, I may have the another one. So this is the feature. Same for my holes. If I look at my different holes, uh, and I don't know why I have 16 holes, maybe I did already the section first, but I can the feature. Okay, where are these ones? Strange. Um, I think I can delete them here. So now I have my fillets. Let me clear again because I think maybe they were already in the model. Is there a way I can? Yeah. Uh, delete. Let me do the features again. Fine. Okay, now I have all these fillets. So this was fine for the fillets. Um, and what if can I I can select from it and for instance retrieve fillet line. Um, now what if I want to uh, get the midline? For instance, I would like to get the midline um, and remove the, um, the the external bounds. What I could do is to take benefits from some TCL commands pretty quickly. 
So let me show you quickly how I could, we, you could do it. Um, I will just copy paste two lines. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't, uh, by the way, I didn't bait them. So first one, uh, no, this is not what I want to do. View TCL. So first one, I want to select my surfaces. Um, and I want, this is a nice thing from the features is that I can now select them by feature and I have the color code. So I can pick the feature. I do not have to select all the surfaces, all the different surfaces from my fillets. I just have to pick the feature and I got them pretty quickly. Okay. And now I will open my browser. Um, and look at one uh, element from the online help. So this is um, this, the command that I can use, create fillet midlines. So which required the mark ID, which is uh, the ID that I requested in the previous command. Maximum radius, minimum radius, maximum width, minimum width. Um, max width must be always greater than max radius, min width lower than min radius and suppress rib, do you want to suppress the original fillets? So you can have both options. So once I have selected my surfaces, let me hit, why do I have nine? Strange. Okay, there's, and so create mid fillet midline. The so one is the one, the mark ID is the mark ID I used here, so one. Maximum radius it will be um, 5, let's say, or I could say 4.5. Uh, minimum radius, the 2. And I will say 100, 0, and I want to suppress 1. And now, if I go back to all, for instance, um, escape, you can see that the geometry is done with um, the fillet has been simplified. So here's one way to do it and to using the features and uh, being able then to either just simply remove the um, fillet or simplifying it by keeping the midline. So really here are the three different methods. Uh, the defecturing is fine if you want to so manual defeaturing, if you want to go for the full or uh, for a large modification, large simplification without specific control. If you want to have a fine tuning, you could go to batch. And the feature, this is something that, again, is new, uh, but I see really some benefits of identifying the features, creating the features, even if you don't rely on them uh, eventually, because uh, this will help you graphically to identify different uh, areas of your model. So I hope this video helped you having a better understanding on how to deal with fillets and uh, holds, three holds. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.